Hello guys, in this video I want to prove uh, inclusion-exclusion theorem by using combinatorial proof. So let's start, let me show you the idea of the proof considering this example. I have three different uh, fine sets, A1, A2 and A3. And A1 has two elements, A2 has two elements and A3 has two elements. And what I know, you can see that B belongs to each of this A1, A2, A3. But if I'm going to take the union of all these three A1, A2, A3, B belongs to this union only once. So B doesn't repeat itself. So I want you to remember this idea, this concept. So if your A's consist of some elements, when you're going to take the union, this element is going to belong to this union only once. So when you're going to count these elements, uh, you're going to count them only once. And how the combinatorial proof is actually works, I'm going to raise this. It works in the following way. Um, if, we, if we're going to take element x, a1, x belongs to a1, union a2, union, union a n, we know this x belongs to this union only once. So, when we're going to count uh, this element, on the left hand side we're going, to, we're going to count this element only once. But what about right hand side? So, how combinatorial proof works? I'm going to show every time I'm going to choose element, my element x on the left hand side. If I'm going to count this element or on the right hand side, I will get 1 as a result. Okay, so this is the idea of the combinatorial proof. Again, I'm taking an element, element on the left hand side and I want to show when I'm going to count this element by using this formula on the right hand side I will get exactly one Okay, so uh, let's consider some example uh, Again, we have for example uh, three sets A1, A2 and A3 So if I know that my set X belongs to this union I can say that my X belongs to some A1 I1, union uh, A, I2, union up to A, I, K. And I'm saying that X belongs to, this of, uh, to each of these A's. So, for example, if I have uh, my element X that belongs to A1, then my second, uh, uh, yeah, second line is going to be just indicate X belongs to A1. Originally, x belongs to a1 union a2 union a3, but uh, I'm uh, taking the subset of this uh, original set only uh, such a's to which x my x belongs. For example, if my x gonna uh, belongs, uh, for example, if I have y that belongs to a1 and a2, uh, this line means why my my y belongs to a1 union a2. Yeah, so this is idea. So we uh, x belongs to this to each of these a x. Okay, so what is next? After I choose my element, I know that element belongs to each x uh, x i j, for example. And then let's count uh, how many times I'm going to count my element x on the right hand side. So what I have, I have a a one, a i two and a, i, k and I know my x belongs to each of this uh, set yeah. and how I'm going to count my element I'm going to count by using uh, this formula so how many if I'm going to use it my first term how many times I'm going to count my element x and we can see uh, our x belongs exactly to 1, 2, 3, up to k sets. So, if I'm going to use my first term, uh, yeah, if I'm going to use my first term, I will get that I count my element x k times. Okay, what about my second term? For second term, I'm going to subtract the numbers of my k's. But what does it mean second term? Uh, let's think about this. Second term means uh, x belongs to a1 
it belongs to a i1 and a i2 or what we're doing in this term among all these k pairs we choosing two pair but you can remember from combinatorics if you have k, k objects uh, k objects and if you want choose among this k object exactly two object it's going to be k choose two yeah so actually uh, for our second term we're going to subtract k choose two uh, elements x and again by using binomial coefficient you can rewrite your first term as k choose one okay what about the third term about the third term for the third one, we're going to take the intersection of three A's. So among this key object, we're going to choose three, uh, three circles. And if we're going to choose three circles, we're going to uh, add K choose three uh, terms. So what does it mean? It means this is exactly the number, uh, how many times I'm going to count my X in my third uh, term. And we're going to sum up this until negative 1 to some power k choose k why because you know that x belongs to only the subsets of a so there is only one x which going to belongs to all of them and which power do I need to choose and I just need to check I can see that my second term has negative sign so it means if my k is 2 my power must be uh, must be odd so I will write my power as k minus 1 why because when I have k equals to 2, I have 2 choose 2 minus, so I have 2 choose 2 minus, because this power is 1. Okay, and we got this formula. We got this, this is true for first term, second term, third term, and this is my kth term. Yeah. And what is our goal? Our goal is to show that this, the whole thing, is equals to 1. Why? Because we count our elements on the left hand side only once and we want to show every time in this sum counting my elements I want to show that uh, ex how many times we're going to count this element going to add up to 1 and how we're going to show this uh, you remember, let's take our 0 we have 0 and what we can do with 0 we can uh, we can write this, okay, let's make it fun. We can write this 0 to the k. Yeah. And 0 to the k is equal 1 minus 1 to the k. So I add 1 and subtract 1. But here, by using binomial uh, theorem, I have 1 to the power of k plus uh, k choose 1, uh, 1 time, 1 to the power of k minus 1 minus 1 uh, plus k choose 2, uh, 1, k minus 2, uh, minus 1 square plus, plus uh, k choose 3, uh, 1, k minus 3, minus 1 uh, cube, and up to k choose k. And here I don't need to forget about my sign, I will have uh, k choose k up to minus 1 to the k power yeah so here I just use my binomial theorem I expand this uh, by using binomial theorem and what I will get as a result I will get this is going to be equals 1 plus uh, this term going to give me uh, I have minus sign so minus k choose 1 uh, plus k choose 2 and this is going to be up to uh, plus minus 1k, k choose k. And you know that this whole thing, because we started with 0, is equal to 0. So what we know, we know that 1 minus k choose 1, uh, plus k choose 2, uh, plus ta -ta -ta, minus 1k choose, uh, one, negative 1 to the k, k choose k, is equal to zero. So if I'm gonna move uh, this part to the right hand side, I will get that my one equals k choose one minus k choose two 
plus uh, I will have minus minus 1 to the power of k so it's going to be minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 or k plus 1 is the same as k minus 1 and I will get k choose k and yes indeed I got that uh, this sum is actually going to add up to 1 so every time when I'm going to choose element on the left hand side this uh, formula will in the result give me uh, L this formula in the result going to count this element only once so this is combinatorial proof for uh, inclusion exclusion principle and I think it's really really cool thank you for watching and if you have any questions let me know bye bye